What's going on guys and welcome back to the Lunar Witch. Today we are going to be talking about how to read your candle flames, but this is going to be a part two to the candle flame video that I had before. This video is going to specifically deal with candle flames and deities. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is this video is going to be a snidbit short because when it comes to candle flames and deities, we're going to have to talk a whole lot about this. And if I put that all into one video, there's going to be way, 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 way too much information for people. So I'm going to probably stick to about five or six different types of candle flames in this video. And then we're going to go on to maybe a part three or a part four even, depending on how many, because there are so many different types of candle flames out there that if you try to put them all in one video, I'm probably going to have anywhere between a 40 to 45 minute video. So we're going to try to avoid that. We're going to try to keep things simple and we're going to try to make sure that everything is easy to follow so that people that are working with deities and trying to read candle flames, um, they can utilize this video to kind of help them out when trying to communicate with their deities. So the first candle flame that we're going to talk about is a strong, steady flame. A strong, steady flame when communicating with your deity during spell work is telling you that everything is going according to plan. A strong, steady flame signifies a strong and stable connection between you and your deity. If you were doing spell work, if you were doing witchcraft in general, and you were utilizing a deity in that spell work, Usually a strong steady flame would mean that that deity is letting you know that what you are putting out there into the universe right now, spell or magic wise, is doing well. It is strong, it is steady, it is doing its absolute best. If you are utilizing a deity in your spell work, or if you are utilizing a deity in general when it comes to your magic, usually a strong steady flame signifies that what you are putting out in the world is strong, it is stable, your connection with your deity at that point in time is strong and stable. So the magic that you are putting out there is extraordinarily strong in itself. Strong steady flames are very good implementations that what you are putting out there is going to stay consistent and stay strong when you cast it. Now, on the contrary, say that you have kind of a smaller, kind of a dim flame. This might be the deity signifying what you're doing is not as strong as it could be. Or it could be that your energy is not full on out there right now to the point where you can actually put something as strong as what you're trying to put out there into the universe. So strong steady flames, those are signifying that you have extremely strong magic and extremely strong energies and a good communication with your deity and your magic is being put out there at its full effect. A small dim flame is signifying that your deity is trying to tell you, you might not have the energy for this spell right now. Go meditate, go balance, go eat something, drink some water, do something to raise your energy up in order to have that spell and that magic a little more powerful. And again, a small dim flame could also signify a misconnection between you and your deity and that is never good, especially if you're trying to work with a deity during your spell work. You don't want anything to backfire at you, so if you are getting this warning, just completely cut the spell off in general and just kind of move on and wait a little bit until your energy is strong enough to perform the spell that it you're trying to cast. So those are two types of flames so far. You got the strong steady flame and the small dim flame. But if you're trying to communicate with your deity and get a yes or no answer, you can also ask a deity specifically. So say for for all purposes, I work with Anubis. If I have a candle in front of, in front of me and I just did a spell with Anubis and it was strong and steady the whole time, but maybe I'm a little unsure as to how things were going, you could always ask, move the candle to the right for a yes answer and to the left for a no answer. So if I want to say, did the spell do well? If the candle flame moves to the right, that signifies a yes answer. It signifies that I'm communicating with my deity and it signifies, yes, your spell that you put out in the world is extremely strong, it did well, and it's out there. If it moves to the left and it says no, then your spell that you may have casted or maybe the connection with your deity maybe wasn't as strong as you thought. And again, you're gonna have to go out again, you're gonna have to make sure you raise your energy up, maybe get some sleep, meditate, balance your chakras, whatever you have to do in order to get your energy back up there so that you can have a strong spell released into the universe. Now the one that people always signify that kind of scares people is when your candle either won't light or the candle flame goes out completely. This signifies that your connection with your deity has completely cut off. You don't have that connection. So if you are doing spell work and your spell work is consisting of a deity, you gotta remember that spell work, when you are working with that, your intent is to be working with a celestial being. So with that being said, if your spell, if your candle goes off, you gotta remember that all of that magic and that spell work that you were doing is now on you 100% because your deity is not helping 
you out. So if you are not strong enough to do that spell, your deity is kind of wiping out that candle and saying, hey, listen, you got to completely stop. You got to stop doing what you're doing right now because you're going to end up getting hurt, you know, because when you put spells out there, you are susceptible to your spell backfiring. And this is why I always tell you guys, when you are doing spells, in case things like this happen, make sure you are doing protection circles and you are doing your spells within that protection circle so that if it does backfire, you have that circle to protect you at that given point in time. So one thing I do want to tell you guys before we move on here to the next kind of candle flames area is if you guys do have a spell that you are casting and you know it's a little too strong for you, your deity may just not want to do it in general but also don't utilize your deities in every single spell that you're trying to do. If you do this, they're going to get tired of it and they might actually end up leaving you if they're not your matron or patron deity. Deities need to rest as well. And deities like to see personal growth. So when you're doing your spells, if you know you can do it on your own, do it. But if you want the spell to be a little bit stronger, then you could ask for your deity's help in order to do that specific spell, but don't do it so much to the point where you're going to impede on the deities because they got their own jobs to do as well. You know, Apollo being the god of the sun, you got Artemis, the lunar, you know, she's the lunar magic, she's the moon, she's the, all these deities have different types of things that go on with them. So you got to understand when you are asking them for their help, you are taking them away from their jobs in order to help you out and they're taking time out of their day to ensure that their energy is going into the spell that you're casting. So just be aware of that. So the one candle flame I'm going to kind of leave off on today. I'm, I told you I'm going to leave this video short and to the point because there is so many, but it's going to be the crackling flame. If there is a crackling flame and you are utilizing your deities in this, your deity is trying to tell you that somebody or something is interfering with your spell. Even if you have a protection circle, if it is crackling, that means something is either breaking through your protection circle and harming your spell, which could prevent or which could actually cause it to backfire at you. So your deity is warning you at that point, like, hey, listen, someone's interfering. You need to kind of stop what you're doing and recollect yourself or wait and kind of do something to maybe banish this energy, sage the room, palasanta the room, whatever you have to do to kind of make your space cleansed again in order to do that. Because if somebody is interfering or there is an opposing force impeding on your magic, you can get potentially hurt with that. So a crackling flame is letting you know that there is danger. There is something there that is messing with the spell that you are putting in place. So that is what a crackling flame is. So as you can see, today's video was a little bit shorter than usual because when I go into these types of flames with deities, there is going to be a lot that goes into these and I don't want to impede and make everyone have so much information brought onto them at once that they have to keep going back into these videos and being like, oh, well, well, what was this one? So today I'm going to just take it a little easy. I'm going to do five today and then the next video that comes out, I'll do five again because a lot of people that watch these videos are just getting into deity work or just starting to work with deities. So if that is the case, I want to make sure that people follow suit and make sure that they have something easy to follow so that when they do do their spell work, they have something that they can go to as a reference to kind of look at candle flames and see what they can do to communicate with their deities during their spell work. So I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. And if you're new to this channel and you're seeing this video, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be releasing a lot of videos like this. And until next time, I will see you here on The Lunar Witch.